well, if you don't have the money to buy a MIDI controller or all that other expensive DJ or whatever equipment that, that everyone else is lucky to have, if you have a pocket PC lying around home, uh, turn it on, charge it up if, if you haven't used it in a long time, and we can turn it into a, a MIDI controller, and I'll teach you how to set that up. Okay, let's get started to set up our Pocket PC as a MIDI controller. The first thing we're going to need to do is download the Microsoft.NET framework for the Pocket PC. And you can simply Google that, um, or you can just follow the link in the video description I'll provide. And you'll be directed to this, this page right here. And you can see this little download button right here. Go ahead and click it. And uh, yes, you want to save it. So it's going to save right here onto my desktop boom that was pretty quick because I've already downloaded it but um, uh, while it would be downloading for you if you don't have as fast can internet connection the next website you're gonna need to go to is this Teresa and this is the software that's actually gonna be going on your pocket PC speaking of pocket PC real quick let's uh, let's plug in the pocket PC into the computer make sure that's uh, up and running because um, we'll need it plugged in when we install the dotnet framework uh, make sure you have no problems, like mine's connected, so good. Anyway, back to, to Teresa. Uh, this is uh, what Teresa looks like. You have different skins you can choose. All are just the same, though. You have an X, uh, X and XY controller, sliders, buttons, so on and so forth. Just different skins. Uh, you're going to go down here where it says download, and you're going to download this zip file right here. So go ahead and just click that, and uh, see it downloaded it for me already. Um, so I'll just open that. I'll make a new folder so I can extract this. I'll just call it Teresa, and drag ah. drag those over okay and what you're gonna do now is copy this folder right here client which basically just contains the executable and the files necessary to run the program on the pocket PC and uh, so you just go to copy go to my computer mobile device and paste okay and so while that's doing that um, you're going to go to the server folder now. Just double click on that and double click on the Teresa server. And that's it. There's nothing to it. All it does is it hides here, right here on the bottom right corner. And the only option it gives you is quit. So um, it does have a little like indicator, like it's red right there. But once we plug it in, you'll see that it turns green if it's connected correctly to your pocket PC. So. Um, by now your .NET should be should be finished downloading. So let's let's open that up. Click Run, Next, Accept, Complete, Install. Okay, so your Pocket is installed. Yes. Okay, it's going to copy the file to your Pocket PC and extract it. And almost done. Wonderful. Click finish. You're all good to go. And so let that finish installing on your pocket PC. Well, uh, one last thing before we go is you're going to need to go to this website right here called MIDI OX. Um, it's uh, MIDI Yoke. Um, what it basically is is what it says. It's a MIDI patch cable driver. And basically all it's doing is taking the signal from your pocket PC and giving it to your Teresa server here, which your Teresa program will then put in that signal into the, the MIDI driver that we're going to install from MIDI Yoke. And that will allow you to uh, use the pocket PC as a MIDI controller. Um, so go and click MIDI Yoke on the side. I'll also provide these other websites in the, the link, so be sure to look, them, look for them. Um, scroll down and you're going to click on the download now. Um, I 
I guess I'm dumb or retarded or something, but I wasn't able to get this one to work. So I just did a manual install, and it's really easy. It's not that hard. You just go and click download now. Um, it's 20K. If you open it, this is all you're going to get. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to manually install a driver for Windows. And if you don't know how to do that, don't worry. This website has a great tutorial on how to do that with pictures. Like if you click right here, I have XP, so it works out for me. Um, they do have one for 95 and 98 if you swing that. Um, 2000 so forth. I think Vista and Windows 7 will work the same way. I don't think they have the pictures for it yet, but uh, I'm these uh, the XP should be pretty much the same, just a little bit different. Anyway, there's pictures, really easy to install. If it's necessary, maybe I'll post a video on how to install it. But uh, for this video, I'm going to assume that you'll be able to install it. So um, once you install that, uh, let's get started with. Uh, using our pocket PC as a MIDI controller. So I'll pick up my camera again and uh, we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate this now. Okay, so I got the pocket PC all, go <clears throat> all ready to go. I'm just gonna go to start, my file manager, and I'm gonna go to the folder uh, where we copied the, the client, and I'm gonna open Teresa. And I'll take a few seconds to open. okay and it should look something like this and like I said uh, before you got your sliders and your XY controller and stuff um, it has skins but uh, I'm not gonna go over that I'll let you check that out if you look at your computer screen now you'll see where the Teresa icon was in the bottom right corner you'll you should have a green light and if it's not green then I don't know what went wrong so anyway I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to my FL Studio. Let's go right here. Um, let's see. I have my headphones on, so you probably can't hear it. Um, let's go to a song that I've been just messing around with. See if I can re output the sound to my speakers. Um, audio. This there we go. Okay. And I think I've added it a little bit, so I don't know. I want to get rid of some things uh, just to demonstrate and stuff what's going on. Okay. So. I got the song ready and everything. Oh, sorry for the glare. Um, how to do this is you're going to go to your, in your digital audio workstation, whatever that may be, you're going to go to your your MIDI settings, okay? And granted that uh, you've installed the, the MIDI yokes and stuff, you should see like a series of them. I have up to eight. <clears throat> and uh, in FL Studio here, I just enabled the first one. So, um, and what you're going to do is to make sure on your pocket PC is you're going to go to this little uh, hammer and uh, wrench right here. Sorry, you can't see it too well. But uh, on this uh, device right here, it's the second one down, you're going to want to make sure that's the same as the one that you enabled. So, like in my case, it was MIDI Yoke 1. Make sure that's that. And so when you after you click close, this data will now go straight to it. And if you look at the uh, the green light, this is from my pocket PC. So I'm moving it, moving it, and stuff like that. Stop, move, and stop, move. My phone. So anyway, that means that we're having control, which is great. Um, now let's get a let's get an effect or something to control it. Um, Let's do a link to controller in FL Studio. Let's do the let's do that one. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, okay, and we'll have the filter, um, the X 
that's a good one. We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it this one. So got that. I'm just doing that. That's all I'm doing. And all right, so good stuff. All right, let's play the song. you do it and I'll do it there you go that is how you use your pocket PC as a MIDI controller and if you like the song maybe I'll show you what I did to, to make it so anyway I uh, hope you learned something and uh, have fun with your Pocket PC as your MIDI controllers. Take care.